Well, good evening all, and how the devil are you? The weather is perfect, so I thought we're going to nip out for a quick half hour. And we'll see if we can even get a vlog in. The sun's low, so I'm trying to keep it at my back. So anyway, vlogging. Now, I can't quite explain this one, but I am quite privileged. And I am quite chuffed about the fact. Yes, that car nearly took us out without looking. Um, that over the past several months I've actually had a few new vloggers get in touch with me to ask for advice about vlogging sort of how they should go about it you know what changes could they make to the channel you know the kind of thing they should be doing this that and t'other now, I was surprised, to be honest, because I'm a small vlogger. I have very few uh, subscribers, really. So, I'm not entirely sure why they'll be asking me. But, like I say, I was extremely chuffed about the fact. So, I gave it me all. I gave them as much advice, information, however you like to name it, as I could. Try to be as honest as possible. And I sent off my replies and they seem to be happy with it. Anyway, like I say, with my small subscriber numbers, I'm not entirely sure what kind of advice I could give of any real substance but then I actually started to think about it and I thought I can't give any advice in fact I don't think any vlogger can really give any guidance or advice because let's face it I think all of us are really just out here having a bit of a lark, having a bit of a laugh and just feeling our way around it, just having a bit of fun a lot of new vloggers seem to think there's a rule book to follow you know there's certain things you need to do this that and the other well I'm here to tell you I think that's wrong, I don't think there is I think if you for the very first time happen to cross a motor blogger online and you think to yourself hmm I quite fancy I'm going to go at that I have a bake all I need is a camera let's give it a bash those I think are the only credentials you need to get started in motor blogging and when you get into motor blogging again my personal opinion don't do stuff for other people do stuff for yourself if you get into it it's like writing a novel when it comes to writing a novel the advice is always the same write about what you know if you want to be a motor blogger I suggest you talk about what you know talk about what you enjoy one thing that's really surprised me, in all honesty, about my own vlogs, is that I actually quite enjoy watching them, which is a huge shock to me because I don't like looking in mirrors, I don't like to listen to my own voice when it's been recorded, but for some reason that I honestly cannot fathom, I actually will go back not in any vain sense really I will go back and watch previous vlogs not the really old ones but sort of the past three four five and 
I can't even try it. Uh, so there, I, I, again, I suppose it's all me doing what I want, what I want to do, what I like. And I think if you can sit down, watch your own stuff and enjoy it, and think to yourself, yeah, that was all right. I quite enjoyed that. Then I think you've scored. I think you're there. I think if you sit down and try and work out what's going to make you popular, yes, you might be able to work out what will make you popular, but the chances of you actually be able to do that, I think, are pretty damn remote. There's a few big vloggers out there who've really hit the nail on the head, but the reason they've been able to do that is because the stuff that they're doing is basically just the stuff they want to do. I would imagine even if there was no interest for them, they would still end up doing the same thing. So, like I say, if you want advice from somebody small like myself, don't ask advice. Do what you like, what you enjoy, what makes you feel comfortable what you want to talk about, what gives you a giggle, what tech you want to know about, what reviews, anything like that. If it makes you happy, then do it. For me, this whole thing is about putting a smile on your face. Now, personally, I did actually start this thing for a reason. But for the most part, that's actually gone out the window. Now I just do this because I like to do it. I like to get on the bike and have a chat to you all. And for me, that's what it's all about. And anyway, this night is one damn corker. So I'm going to switch the cameras off because I'm going to be breaking a few speed limits in a minute. So hopefully, I'll catch you next time. Cheerio.